what's up going you guys welcome to the video I'm doing something different hope you like the uh what I'm showing you guys let's do a uh, reaction to to see how this look oh look at that shit on the near on, on the TV bro the colors is crazy it's like if you I hope you got high right now my friend this is oh man nice duck oh duck grab so they show a lot of street fighting which order and faster in a street fight now, if you are ever in the street, you need so he's a Olympian, uh, he's a Olympian, exactly uh, boxer. This is the best weapon you will have when you're in the street, so you need to know This is the first time I've seen this one. This is what we got. Hopefully, you're not going to be hurt. So, you need to understand what I'm about to teach you right here. And I'm not just going to teach you it, I'm going to show you, I'm going to demo it. I'm going to show you exactly how you punch harder and faster as well. And if you're new to this channel, you don't know who I am. My name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer. I'm a former undefeated professional. I won seven national titles, a European gold medal. And this is my YouTube channel where I upload everything boxing, telling you how to punch harder, punch faster, how to get better footwork, better reactions, everything boxing. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification for more videos like this. Now let's get into it. Tip number one is stay relaxed. Now I know it's easier for me to say this than you. Yeah, stay relaxed. Uh, that's also Bruce Lee motto. If you know anything about Bruce Lee or any uh, any other martial arts, your hands gotta be relaxed. So get that way when you hit something. It uh, or your hand. So when you want to do it, you want to tense up at the last moment. So when I throw a punch here, I'm hand my hand is black, and then when I'm throwing that punch, it spring forward and get the momentum. That will get a correct. That will create the twist of that of the punch. I'm just see what he does. Do it, but you need to stay relaxed. And when I'm saying relaxed, I don't mean like sitting there like drinking a cup of coffee, just waiting for the street fight to happen. You're so relaxed, you're not worried at all. No, I don't mean that. I mean stay relaxed with your arms and your shoulders, and you're ready to punch. You want to stay loose. Now, if you can get in a in a boxing stance position, which basically is if you're right-handed with your left foot forward. I've done a full video on the whole of the box, and you should check that out if you're not familiar with how to punch. You'll be able to get lots of tips on that. Links below. But basically, you want to be in this boxing stance position with your hands up here, high, ready, still loose and relaxed here. Because I see it often, and we'll see videos online where people will be throwing punches in a street fight, and they'll be like, <coughs> really stiff. And when you're stiff, your punches are slow. And if your punches are slow, they're not going to be as hard, and they're not going to be. That, that's correct. Uh, you were still. Uh... You are a tend to uh, lack in the motion. So think of as a uh, spring or whatever. So if you're, you're so and that's it. This is my little spring. I want to push up, upward. I don't want to, even if I'm in the boxing, uh, with their hands is up to. Close, closer to them, that way they can easily block. That's opposed to the, the uh, boxers, hand, where their hands are at. It's because they, when they throw a punch, it's a quick motion, a springing motion, a springing action. Um, so yeah, that's uh, a cool little uh, tip. Um, so let's keep that it's going. Fast. So you need to really stay relaxed and stay loose here to get that punch off. And when you are punching, you do want to exhale as well. That's going to help you with your relaxation. So you're relaxed here. Look, I'm not stiff. I'm relaxed. I want to exhale as I punch. I'm going to give you a great demo of this in a sec. Let's just move on to tip number two. And this is throw a straight punch rather than a swinging punch. 
Another thing we'd see all the time is punches pulling from over here. Boom! Like that. And yeah, the bag swinging, uh, connected, and it was pretty hard. It, it was no gloves on and no pattern on. It probably will do a little bit of damage, but it's not efficient to get speed and power into the punch. You've heard the phrase, the fastest way to travel from A to B is in a straight line. So if my arm's got to come all the way around here, right, all the way back here, now look at the distance it's got to travel from there to just from here. The distance is probably cut in half, as you see on the screen right now. If you're traveling less distance, guess what, you're going to get there faster. And as well, the power is better, believe it or not. Exhaling with the punch, turning your hip and fully extending. So he's pivoting his now foot. That's what he's trying to tell you. Now that there, he's pivoting his foot when he does it. It's a lot different, a lot better, and the speed is twice as fast as well because the distance is shorter. Now, tip number three is think about it. Now, think about speed. Now, you may be thinking, well, yeah, of course, I'm going to speed, but, but often people don't think about speed. Let's see if we can think get this slower. So now he looks on this crazy. Oh, my gosh. Ah, take it out. Look at that, man. That's, that's, that's a TV. That's what it looks like on TV. It's speed and a lot of power in your head. So he's. Look at that. Now look at that. Harsh one yet. So I'm thinking about speed. I'm pulling the punch correctly. I'm fully extending my arm. I'm turning my hip. I'm pulling it straight. I'm staying like nice and relaxed. In the shoulders, like here. Like here. Now that right there is how you will punch harder and faster in the streets. I hope you never have to have a street fight. But if you do, now you've got to go. Let's have a run there because I can't miss it. Let's run where he did this. Yeah, of course. But often people don't think about speed, people think about power. Break down. Get tight and think about, I need to really swing this punch. No, no, if you're thinking about speed, and you're doing what I said in tip number one and number two, which is stay relaxed and throw that short, straight punch, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get a lot of speed and a lot of power into your punch. It's going to look like this. So here, you think about speed. Now look at that. Harsh one. Uh, so... Okay, then yes, granted that. Okay, so. That wasn't very really fast, but it was a hard punch, no less. Um, when you build enough speed, or if you're trying to hit harder, it's always about the rotation of your body. Uh, yes, shorter distance when you throw a punch. The, uh, if I throw a heat, then we're all here, like you was talking about, going for a longer distance. Instead of just coming out here, throw the punch. I'm just going to down here, and I'm just throwing the punches here. I can throw my punch right here. Instead of, I, if it, so in Jinkyu, though, throw a hit, 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 Closer to the so closer to your uh, target, right? And as as relaxed as my shoulder, uh, my arm, on my arm, my hand, everything just relaxed until the end of the target. Uh, he 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 doesn't show you doesn't tell you that he's pivoting. Is a the the there is a big reason why he's pivoting. Pivoting gives you. That uh, uh, helps you twist that your body, uh, gives you that more of a pa the power, and it doesn't go really into too much of depth. Uh, unless you really pay attention to all the details that he's showing you, as far as uh, as far as the, the things go. For uh, I don't know what you think about this. Uh, little uh, effect here. I got different ones I'm gonna quickly show you. Uh, guys, you can, can I do, oh, this one, I guess once it's logged in, it's logged in. Uh, when I do, when I do a video, so I can't do any other ones. But if you would like to see other, uh, filters, uh, this is really trippy. I decided to do, try to do a video. 
I would try to do, uh, if you can't really see what he's doing, uh, I would do another video, it was the same, it was the same video, same, the same concept, and see if you can see, uh, I think you should be able to see what he's doing, I'm, I'm not sure if you could, uh, you probably saw, like, a bat, a bag like shape. It's kind of pixel. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I didn't know this. I thought it'd be a cool little, uh, video to show. But anyways, I gotta get going. I got other things to do. I gotta take care of, care of my little one. Uh, try to keep things well on this. I, I'm not a big channel, but I do have a, I am an author. I have written a, a book. And uh, if you want me to read that, uh, my self-defense books, uh, book, I'll be happy to, to uh, read the whole thing. And hopefully y'all guys will buy it. Um, so then, take care of yourself. Train hard. Uh, find, uh, I, hope, I hope you find the tips uh, that I give you and what you see and what, uh, hopefully when I, was, I do this, I uh, explain it in depth. And I also apologize again uh, for my speech appointment, and I'm sorry about that. I'm trying my best to uh, speak clearly as I can. Until then, guys, thank you for watching. Peace.